My name is Lindsay. I am a master's student at Utah State University. So we're on the Kashunik River in the YK Delta, right? <laughs> um, at the Atwood camp. We're kind of trying to tease apart what does the grazing of the geese, so when they eat the grass, how does that affect the soil and the microbes and the roots? Um, and then we're looking at the same thing with their feces and then also when they walk on the grass, when they trample it. So obviously geese like us have to walk around <laughs> to get places. They're not always flying. Um, so when they're walking around on the grass, they're trampling it. Um, and then that does a few different things. The main thing is it's compacting the soil, right? So just imagine when you walk around in the mud or on the beach, right? You can see your footprints and you're compacting the soil in those places. And it's the same thing with the geese. The geese are compacting that soil. So what happens is it, that soil becomes more dense. And what that does is it basically makes the soil more anoxic. So there's less oxygen in the soil when it becomes packed down like that. So when there's less oxygen, that changes the microbial community. So um, microbes that are anoxic, that don't have access to oxygen, oftentimes produce methane instead of carbon dioxide. So it's changing the microbes and then it's also changing what they're releasing. Another way that the trampling is affecting the tundra is it's helping to actually incorporate the geese feces into the soil. So the nutrients, the nitrogen, the phosphorus in that feces is combined into the soil um, and basically gives more food to the microbes that are in the soil. It looks a little bit silly, right? Um, so basically what we have is we have these two boards, these like plywood boards that are a specific size that some really smart people <laughs> figured out that if you step on this board once or someone about my size steps on this board like once every nine days, <laughs> that's about the same amount of weight as these geese like walking around in that given area over the course of nine days as well. So basically they tried to find like how much are the geese walking across the tundra? Um, how much do they weigh? How much pressure are they exerting onto the soil? And then we're trying to mimic that with these plywood boards that we step on. Um, so that's kind of how we pretend to be a little goose. <laughs>